attraction towards the image and sound uh, and I feel much more closer to that though I enjoy writing as well uh, but I think a film sort of brings together all the different arts and I think that's very interesting to me and just the power of the image I think which can uh, sort of express so much about words um, so I yeah I mean I think since I was 15 I was sort of quite crazy about films I never thought I'd be a filmmaker. I did my graduation in maths, so I love maths as well. But, <laughs> but yeah. Um. yeah. Actually, strangely enough, the film that actually that was a turning point was this uh, film called Sadma with Had Kamal Hassan and uh, Sri Devi in it. And uh, it was such a tear jerk, and I was like crying all through the film. And I was like, oh my god, this is like. It's, it was so powerful, and at that time I was like 14 or 15 when I saw the film. And I was like, you know, what an impact a film can have. I mean, that's definitely not the kind of film I want to make now, now that I'm so much older and I'm actually a filmmaker. But, but that's the way it is, no? I mean, even something, it's, it's terribly melodramatic. It's a very well done film, but it's very melodramatic. And that's not the kind of film I make at all now. But that was really the, the, the day I really felt so strongly about films. And another film which I really, um, uh, two films actually, which I really love are uh, Satyajit Rai's Aparajita and um, uh, Abbas Kiarostami's Where is the Friend's Home. So that was also a huge turning point. After I got so much interested in Iran and Iranian cinema and um, I started the Iranian Film Club and now I'm curating films from Iran in this festival. So that's been a, a long journey for me with my relationship with Iran. So I think it's also... Um, I think it affects your life in so many other ways, films. For example, because of that film, um, I learned Persian. And so it's like so many decisions in my life have been related to that one film, actually. Yeah, basically, IWRT is, a, um, is sort of an informal group in a way, in which people who work in different media, maybe it's films, maybe it's journalists, maybe it's radio professionals, we take our time from our uh, sort of professional work and uh, decide to do this festival every year. So we come together. Um, it's basically our love for um, showing films, I think, I think and for sharing. And, um, and this just offers a great platform to uh, make a difference in a way. Like for me, uh, more than IAWRT, it's more um, an opportunity to show films that I want to show, I think. And so wherever I get the chance, I take it. And this is. Oh, given me a space to do it in a very, um, what do you say, free, it's made me very free because there's no uh, restriction other than that the film has to be made by a woman, but other than that there are no agendas, it's not like oh only this kind of film, or oh, only this kind of form, it has to be issue based or you know it has to be experimental, it's none of that, it's whatever has uh, you know moves you or has an impact on you, it can be intellectual, it can be crazy, it can be straightforward, it can be anything, but it has to have that, sort of, I always say it has to have that X factor. So, I mean, that's how we go about our selection for the film, uh, festival. So, I think the festival is one of the main reasons I'm part of IAWRT. And uh, I think there's always a need for filmmakers to um, connect to others. And this also is a community. So, otherwise we sort of exist as, um, sort of in isolation. And uh, it's just, a way to come together and do something together, which I think becomes increasingly difficult uh, living in a city because I know, I mean, I have so many friends, but I never get to meet them because everybody is busy with work. Uh, so I think this is another community that you form where actually you can uh, sort of work with real people who share your concerns. Space for different kinds of films. Uh, and yeah, it's become much cheaper now to make a film. Younger people are making films, uh, people are making films on uh, mobile cameras, you can upload it, you can share, and that's all wonderful. But I think there has to be a sense of rigor in your filmmaking, otherwise finally, I think film or any art for me, for me has to have that kind of um, a quality that makes it last beyond its own time. So there's a kind of uh, quickly do it, quickly put it up, quickly see it, quickly give your reaction kind of thing about uh, stuff that's uploaded and then you forget it in two days. So I think that art does, uh, you know, the, the, the real test is when it can last beyond that two minutes of fame. So I think there is a space for other kind of films, other kind of media. I mean, the film 35mm per se might die, but I think the rigor that goes with it uh, is um, 
it's a good thing actually. I like even when I shoot on video, I try to be economical. I don't want to shoot 500 hours and make a 10 minute film, you know. Uh, so I think just that consciousness uh, that don't waste anything actually in a way, even if it's a cheaper yeah. medium, even if it's a hard disk, just to be clearer in your head about what you're doing. I mean, that kind of rigor disappears uh, when you're in this kind of sort of, uh, it almost it becomes too frivolous then the activity. So I think there's a space for a more serious engagement with the medium. Um, which is reminiscent of the film medium, but which, which, which can be true even if you're making a film on a mobile. It's from my own movie in that NCRT. sense. NCERT. NCERT. So it's a series on elementary education. So, uh, so I'm very interested with, in working with children and um, mm -hmm. education. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing this. So, yeah. Otherwise, I've just been too busy with the festival right now. So one, after it's over, then I'll figure out my life.